Every day in Australia, another seven young people are diagnosed with insulin-dependent diabetes. It leads to a lifetime of daily insulin injections, but researchers at Monash University are hoping to change that. They say they've found a way to help people with diabetes get their bodies to produce their own insulin again. Every day is the same routine for Simon McCrudden. Living with type 1 diabetes has meant daily injections. I don't know life without diabetes. Um, I have injections every day. I've been injecting myself since I was seven. More than one million Australians live with diabetes and about 20% rely on insulin injections. Now I have to make sure whenever I go out that I've got my injection and my blood testing equipment with me. But it's also just the longer term impacts that I'm, you, know, you can be anxious about. But a new study from a Melbourne lab is looking at an alternative treatment. Researchers from Monash University have discovered a way to repair the damage diabetes can cause. Diabetes is an autoimmune disease which damages the pancreatic cells in cells that produce actual insulin. We're reprogramming cells that don't generally produce insulin to express insulin now. Unlike other emerging treatments that use genetic modification or transplants as an alternative to insulin, this process uses a non-genetic approach to instruct stem cells to naturally produce the hormone. It means that you won't have to inject insulin into your body on a daily basis. If you can um, cure these people from this uh, very difficult chronic condition, that's, that's a game changer. It will still be some time until people with diabetes will be able to access the treatment being produced in this lab. But researchers say it's a big step towards finding a cure. And the work won't stop here. The next phase will be to do more studies in humans, so get more cells and just get a, a really powerful sample size. For those currently living with the disease, an alternative can't come soon enough. It would be great because I wouldn't have to be so vigilant and so mindful all the time about what I was eating and drinking. A long-term project to deliver long-lasting health. Roseanne Maloney, ABC News, Melbourne.